On the 5th of November 2025, two new images of the interstellar object 3.i Atlas were released by the Virtual Telescope Project. And what these images revealed left the scientific community even more perplexed. The photographs show Atlas as a compact source of light without any sign of a visible cometary tail. Even more surprising, the object's appearance remains virtually unchanged since the Hubble Space Telescope observations in July 2025. As Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb calculated, for an object that should have lost at least 13% of its total mass, more than 5.5 billion tons of material, this absence of a massive and bright coma is simply inexplicable. To put this in perspective, the same images also captured Comet Lemon, a common comet from our solar system. Lemon displays exactly what we would expect, a clear and bright tail pointing away from the sun, formed by solar radiation pressure pushing gases and dust into space. Atlas, on the other hand, remains mysteriously clean without the visual signature that should accompany the massive material loss necessary to explain its non-gravitational acceleration. According to Loeb, this is just the latest evidence that Atlas is not behaving like any natural object we know. And this leads us to a fundamental question that science needs to seriously address. There has been a lot of misinformation and alarmism about Atlas and its acceleration. On October 29th, right at its closest point to the Sun, Atlas began accelerating in ways that gravity alone cannot explain. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory presented a report showing that Atlas is four arc seconds away from where it should be based on gravitational calculations. This may not seem like much, but when you're tracking something 203 million kilometers from the Sun, this deviation is enormous. The object is accelerating at about 0.02 emerza per second squared. To put this in perspective, over just one month, this small acceleration pushed Atlas out of its expected path by about 80,000 kilometers. The acceleration has two components. It's pushing away from the sun at 135 kilometers per day squared, which results in about 60,000 kilometers per month. And it's also moving laterally at 60 kilometers per day squared, which is another 27,000 kilometers laterally. So this object isn't just drifting in one direction, it's being pushed outward and laterally at the same time. Before anyone panics, this acceleration isn't sending Atlas toward Earth. The deviation isn't enough to change its path toward any planet in our solar system, except Jupiter, where it's expected to arrive in March 2026. So, what exactly is non-gravitational acceleration? Think of it this way. When you throw a ball, gravity pulls it down in a predictable path. But if that ball suddenly had small rockets firing on it, it would go off course. That's what's happening here. Atlas isn't following the path that only the Sun's gravity would create. Something else is pushing it. For a comet, the natural explanation is outgassing. When ice heats up near the Sun, it turns into gas and fires like a rocket engine. This is totally normal for comets. The problem is the amount of gas that would need to be coming out of Atlas to create this acceleration. Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb did the calculations using basic physics. If you know the acceleration and you know the object's mass, you can calculate how much gas needs to be ejected to create that push. Atlas weighs at least 33 billion tons. It's huge compared to the first two interstellar objects we found, somewhere between 1,000 and 1 million times more massive than Oumuamua or Borisov. Its core is estimated at about 3.5 miles or nearly 6 kilometers. With that mass and that acceleration, the calculations show something remarkable. To create that push through natural outgassing, Atlas would need to lose at least one-sixth of its total mass during the month around its closest approach to the Sun. That's at least 5.5 billion tons of gas. That amount of gas would create a massive and incredibly bright cloud around the object. It would be impossible not to see with our telescopes. Between late November 2025 and late January, dozens of ground-based telescopes, including the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope, will all be observing Atlas. On December 19th, it's making its closest approach to Earth at 167 million miles. If that massive gas cloud is there, we're going to see it. But what if it's not there? This is where the scientific discussion gets really compelling. If we don't see that massive gas cloud, then the natural explanation fails. If there's no cloud corresponding to the amount of gas needed to create this acceleration, 
Then we have to seriously consider that the acceleration is coming from something else, something technological. We've seen this exact pattern before with Oumuamua. The first interstellar object also showed non-gravitational acceleration, but showed no gas or dust coming out of it. Even the super-sensitive Spitzer Space Telescope couldn't detect any outgassing. Scientists ended up calling it a dark comet, which is basically an oxymoron. The defining characteristic of a comet is its tail of gas and dust. But Atlas is showing us something even stranger than Oumuamua. It's showing two additional strange behaviors that make the natural explanation even harder to accept. First, there's the brightness issue. As Atlas approached the Sun, its brightness increased following a power law with an exponent of 7.5. Normal comets get brighter as they approach the Sun, following a power of 2 to 3. Atlas is getting bright much faster than any normal comet, increasing at more than double the rate we would expect. This is completely unprecedented. Second, Atlas is blue, appearing bluer than the Sun itself at its closest approach. This is extremely strange because dust naturally makes things appear redder, not bluer. Atlas's surface should be about 20 times colder than the Sun's surface. Cold surfaces don't glow blue. They glow red. So why is it blue? Natural explanations involve ionized gases like carbon dioxide emitting light directly. This is possible. It's important to understand what's really being argued here. Scientists aren't declaring that Atlas is definitely alien technology. The argument is about scientific methodology. When you have data that doesn't fit your theories, you can't just dismiss the data. You have to take it seriously and explore all possible explanations, even the uncomfortable ones. Some scientists were saying the data must be wrong because they couldn't explain. Dr. Avi Loeb told them that's terrible science. You, you can't uh, say the data is wrong just because you don't have a theory that fits it. Atlas is a singular object in our solar system, highlighting not just the facts, but their implications and why each one challenges current understanding. Unlike anything we've ever seen, it presents various anomalies, among them the first anomaly, the impossible path. Atlas is traveling along a line just five degrees from the plane where all planets orbit our star. Imagine a table where all the balls are rolling on the same level. That's the ecliptic plane. An object coming from another stellar system should arrive from any random direction in space, like a ball thrown from far away that can come from above, below, or any side. But Atlas arrived almost perfectly aligned with the planet's level. The probability of this happening by chance is only 0.2%, like hitting a tiny target in the dark. The second anomaly, the jet that defies physics. During July and August 2025, Atlas did something never seen in nature. It created a jet of material directed straight toward our star. All known comets do the opposite. They always create tails that point away from the sun, like hair flowing in the wind when you run. Solar radiation pressure pushes material outward. Atlas broke this fundamental rule as if someone were running, but their hair flew forward against the wind. The third anomaly, too big and too fast. Atlas is a million times more massive than Umamua, and a thousand times larger than Borisov, but still moves faster than similar objects. It's like finding a giant truck overtaking race cars on the highway. Larger objects in interstellar space normally move slower due to the gravitational forces that expelled them from their origin systems. Atlas breaks this rule with very low probability. The fourth anomaly, timing too perfect. Atlas arrived with perfect timing to pass close to Mars, Venus and Jupiter, but remained invisible from Earth during the most important moment, perihelion. It's as if a tourist visited three important cities in a country, but managed to completely avoid the main airport's security cameras. The temporal precision of this sequence is extremely rare, rarer than winning the lottery. The fifth anomaly, factory composition. Spectral analysis revealed that Atlas contains much more nickel than iron, a proportion typical of metallic alloys produced industrially on Earth. Natural comets should have a random mixture of metals, like a soup of cosmic ingredients. But Atlas has a specific recipe, as if someone had carefully chosen the ingredients. The probability of this specific composition occurring naturally is very low. The sixth anomaly, dry as a desert. Comets are known as dirty snowballs because they are 80-90% water ice. Atlas has only 4% water. 
It's drier than many deserts on Earth, like finding an iceberg that's almost all rock. This challenges the very definition of what a comet is, suggesting it might not be a natural comet. The seventh anomaly, impossible polarized light. Atlas showed a light polarization pattern never seen in any known natural object. Polarization is like light's fingerprint. Each type of surface creates a unique pattern. It's as if Atlas had a fingerprint that doesn't exist in any file in nature, including all comets ever studied, even Borisov.